this is a binary tree problem and uh, it's binary in even the values so it's not just binary tree its values are also binary that is node values are 0 and 1 so here in this problem what we have to do all the nodes will have either 0 or 1 so you have to start from root node and then traverse the tree so when you traverse the tree sometime you reach the leaf node so whenever you reach leaf node so in this case we have three leaf nodes so this represents each leaf node represents a number and what number so start from root it's one then we go here zero so the path you have to take the path from root to each of the leaves so path to this leaf is one one zero zero so this represents number one zero zero so one zero zero means four so one is one one zero is two one zero zero is four so this represents four similarly this leaf represents one zero one so 101 means 5 and this leaf represents 10. So this is 2. So you have to return the sum of all those values represented by leaves. So uh, as uh, with other tree problems, binary tree problems, here we will use recursion. So if you are uh, just starting with recursion and you have done a few problems related to tree traversal, then this would be a very good exercise for you and it's a good candidate for interviews and it should clarify your doubts so before jump, jumping into tougher problems if you can solve this then you are on the right track for uh, understanding the recursion with trees so let's see how we can solve it so uh, clearly we have to start from here and in the question it's even mentioned that number of nodes is from 1 to 1000 so number of nodes is at least one that means root will always be valid so how we can solve this so uh, we have one here so let's write down all the values here so this represents 100 this represents 101 this represents 111 so you notice that what is the common ancestor of these two these two leaves it's this one and what this node represents 10 so you have to start from root so root represents 1 if this was 0 root would have represented 0 so there is no parent of this so it's a single digit the number of parents you have the number of digits you, you will have number of bits you will have in the binary representation so root has just one bit either 0 or 1 depending on the value so root represents 1 and this 1 will now be the most significant bit so if you see the ordering here this we are starting from most significant bit and the leaps value is it's the least significant bit so now this 1 will be the most significant bit for all the three leaves so this is fixed so you you have to try to find uh, how to solve it so let's forget this part let's first think of the base case as with other recursion problems so the base case would be that if you have to call it on uh, an empty or null root null tree then you will return zero if null then zero second base case would be that if you are calling on leaf and we will be keeping track of one sum running sum while passing from root to that leaf so if leaf then return the sum itself otherwise we will do some recursion so how should we solve it so now with this we get an idea that if one is the root then one is the most significant bit for everything so we pass one to both of them so we pass one here and we pass one here to both of its child both of its children now this child will see that i am getting a value of one and now my value is zero so how can i append zero here so we can left shift it by one so this will become one zero and now add the current value so this value will be the zero or one so adding zero does not change it will be one zero so now this has become one zero Similarly, if you look at this leaf, uh, this node, again we have passed one here, so it will try to append its value to the parent's value. So in order to append that in the least significant position, it has to shift left. So one, one was there, it left shifted by one, so it becomes one zero. Now it will append it, so it will just add one to it, and it will become one one. So now this is representing one one. Again, this will check whether I am a leaf node or not. If I am a leaf node, return this value. If not, pass this one zero to both its children. 
or if there is one, just one child pass it to its child so it will pass one zero here now let's look at this node so we are talking about this node so what this will do it will just it, its task is to append its value to the value passed by parent parent has passed one zero so it will left shift one zero by one and it will become one zero zero and it will append this zero so add zero here so it will be one zero zero so now this is the value that it's holding it has produced next it will check whether i am a leaf or not so after check it will return this because it's a leaf and what is the check very simple check if both left and right child are null so it will return 100 and what is 100 it's 4 so it returns 4 to its parent so let's draw in red it returns 4 now come to this leaf node here also it will pass 10 the same value is passed to both its children it will again try to append it so directly write it it will left shift and add one to it so it will become 101 then it will check whether it's a leaf node or not it's a leaf node so it will return this value 101 which is nothing but 5 so this returns 5 and what this will do it will return the same function recursively with its left and the sum so here sum will denote this running sum 10 in this case plus f right 10 so we will have a variable here in the code sum but here let's say we are working for this we are working in this part of the tree similarly you can do the right part so it came here and again it was it returned uh, 100 that is 4 and this one returned 5 so it will return 9 9 back to its parent so here it returns 9 similarly this would have also done the same thing f of left and it would have passed a value of 1 and again right and 1 so this left has returned 9 similarly if you proceed in the same fashion it will append 1 to the passed value that is 1 so it will create 1 1 it's not leaf so it will pass the same value to its child so it passes 1 1 here it gets 1 1 and appends 1 to it by left shifting and then adding now it's a leaf so it will return back so it's 7 so it returns 7 here and it's uh, left would have returned 0 with this case its left was null so we would have called f left 1 1 so it would have returned 0 for null we return 0 so left return 0 right return 7 so totally 7 so it returns 7 now the root will again add both of these values returned and it will be uh, so we had written 9 here 9 plus 7 16 now let's verify we have 100 which is 4 101 which is 5 111 which is 7 which is 16 so this works so let's write the formal code for this how we can do this so we have the main function where we have root and nothing else let's define another function which takes root and a sum which is passed to by the parent so it will simply return f root 0 and now this is the main function so here the base case was if not root or root is null return 0 otherwise sum equal to sum left shift by 1 plus its value root dot val and it will check if leaf so instead of leaf you will write if root dot left is null and root dot right is null so if leaf return sum else return f root dot left sum plus f root dot right sum so same sum is passed to both of these and we are done so you see here we are using recursion this f is recursively calling it and it has these base cases this is the base case and this leaf is another base case so let's write the code for this in C++, Java and Python.
so if leaf return the sum otherwise so if one of the child is null it will automatically return zero so its value will not be added now we are done so let's run it so there is some error here let's see what what it is uh, so maybe this is the error uh, so oh yes this was the error it was thinking of left shifting sum by 1 plus root val and it was 0 so 0 shifted by 1 again remains 0 so it might be creating the problem for this example and uh, so, so to make it clear we have to first do the shift and then add the value so that operator precedence does not come here and the solution is accepted and we are around here but if you try a few times you can land in on this tower also so what is the time complexity uh, here we are doing nothing special we are just traversing this tree and we are not visiting any node multiple times so we go to root node a root node uh, calls the same function recursively for its left and right children and below so we are going only in downward direction that is we are not visiting any node twice so it's o of n so time complexity is o of n just like any other other traversal and space is the only space used by the recursion stack so if you include it space can be of the order of height but if you ignore this implicit space then it's o of 1 that will all depend on how you measure the space now let's uh, repeat the same logic in java and python so it's a very simple code that's the power of recursion here And the Java solution is also accepted. And here it takes 0 second, 0 millisecond, that is 100%. And finally, we will write it in Python 3. and the python solution is also accepted